Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Eleven. Right now, we are beating up Lanius. We've got off about almost 6,000 of his soldiers while only taking about 200 of our own dead losses. But the show must continue, and we got to race our horses, hopefully, up to the front line soon enough. Actually, they're already there. Good. Give him a little bit more time to get some more organization. I don't really know what happened with Lanius and his... Oh, it looks like they're... Oh, we just overran division up there. Not really sure where their divisions went, but you know what? With the horses here, I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, Chicago, Chicago, that title in town. Apparently, everyone from the Midwest is popping by because we've had a couple of suspicious men with the emblems of the old U.S. of A. drop in, despite initial concerns. They're shockingly polite, well-paid, and lost track of money, as if they didn't quite understand the concept. One of them mentioned with a new lady friend that more of his friends would be visiting real soon and smirked. Anyway, because we're not idiots, we arrested them, and they revealed there was some group called the Enclave in <clears throat> the state of Illinois. We let them go, but confiscated their sidearms. No group discounts. Oh boy, that does not sound good. Couple, couple comments to go through as, as we're beating up Lanius here. Uh, actually, let's take a look at this first. Oh, that's not good. But it ain't too bad. Cool. First of all, uh, yeah, horses are overpowered. Well, I don't say they're overpowered, but they're very strong. Uh, I haven't. I just have not, not had enough time with them to spend with them yet. But that 50% extra breakthrough is quite strong. I will say it is quite, 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 quite strong. So, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. That's when he plays Lanius, too. Keep going, guys. You're doing a tremendous job. Real good job, even though we can't really afford too many more horses. We're only 12 combat with two, so. Uh, can we throw any more on? Nope. That is big sadness. And we can't afford any more divisions because we're already at 10. So I recommends we get more grain solicitations. Okay. Sure, why not? Hurts our money a little bit, but hey. 118 people a month. Not bad. How do we keep running over people? Overrunning divisions, I should really say. Um, yeah, this is kind of wild. I don't know what happened to Lanius. He must not have done, like, a land auction or something, but... I'm liking this. I'm liking this quite a bit. If that's, if that's the case... Uh... For you six, I'll, I'll send you guys actually down here, then. Because I want to make sure we cover up all the holes. All the holes will be ours. Uh, cool. Watch out for Lanius' naval invasions near the capital. Yes, that could happen, so we probably really should keep an eye out on that. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, you know? We'll, we'll see what happens. Cool. Yeah, I, I really don't understand why Lannis is... Well, I see some of his divisions are coming up here as well, which is good. Um, let's go for Firebase, because we like that a lot. So, yeah. Before we keep going on, though, let's take a look. The Plunder of Lone Star. They have 72,000 manpower. So they got plenty of manpower. 67 divisions. And they have some robots. Uh, they got a good amount of anti-tank. They have Dinamite. Uh, some saws. Crowd control gear. Plenty of melee weaponry. So they got plenty of equipment, but just... Even though we're not completely winning everywhere, we're winning enough places where I'm questioning why we're doing this well, this rapidly. It doesn't make a lot of sense why we're, do we're doing exceptionally well against L Lanius. I mean, Lanius is... I mean, he is a dude. He's not supposed to be easy. He's supposed to be fairly difficult. But hey. Who am I but a person who wants to take out Fort Summers? Go, 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 guys. Specialized Warfare. Very nice. Let's grab some more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, for you guys, you might just want to try to cut him off, maybe? Westcliff, perhaps? Oh, boy, I want to shut down. That's, not, that's never good. How fast are you moving, son? 7.3 kilometers per hour, not bad. Great loss for us, nonetheless. All right. These guys have been in circle. That is good, 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 good. Help take him out. Take all these guys out. And have we done it up here? Oh, we're looking for entertainment. Nice. Uh, did I read that one? I can't remember. Did we read looking for entertainment? After a lot like that... Everyone could do some distraction. What better way than a good movie? And I know just the place where we can get some. If the future isn't bright, at least it's colorful. Looking for love. Oh, this is perfect. The visit turned out very different from what I expected. From what we both expected, I guess. We guarantee the two pads and get the event looking for LUV. Oh, boy. Might as well help them out. Might as well take them all out. There you go. Oh, god dang it. They actually uh, got these guys back there. Who dares wins, of course. Always good. Well, if you guys could go that way, that'd be awesome. At least try and circle somebody here, you know? Okay, not bad, not bad. There you go, good. Good, 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 good. Nice. Good stuff, guys, good stuff. 59 divisions versus 52. We're doing a pretty nice job, I'd say so. All right, so you guys head on up to over here. Other comments. Let's see, do grand solicitations. Try the Kaiser Wilhelm's Legion in Old World Blues. Actually, when that came out, I actually have already played it, so I played it almost as soon as the thing came out, so. It was a lot of fun. I don't mind doing it again sometime, though. Sounds like 
you know, a little fun time that we could have. Mm. Let's help oh, get rid of some of entrenchment. Oh boy, what are you doing? Whoa, let's head on back, boy. Let's, let's go back. Oh, don't get encircled, please. Please do not get encircled. God dang it, guys. Right, at this point, uh, we don't have enough divisions for this, so get over here. God dang it. Ah. Move, 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 move. God dang it, you piece of garbage. You piece of garbage. I actually lost one of these divisions. Well, hopefully we can actually make these guys a little bit better here, maybe? Yeah, yeah technically, yeah. Oh, Lanius, you're dead. You're done. You you are absolutely 100% done. Go, 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 go. Kill them off. Take everything they have. Come on. Down here. Screw it. You guys are going in, too. Force it. Force them to die. Force them to die. Force them, force them, force them to die. There can be no peace with these guys. Come on. Cut them off. That's good. That's actually very good. How dare you kill off my divisions? That's what you deserve, you pieces of garbage. We got a lot of PP. That's probably the most political part I've ever had in one sitting in Old World Blues. Then again, that might be a lie. You know, I can't really tell at this point. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. And we get some more um, caps, which would be very good for us as well. Alright, one line here, guys. Come on, one line. There we go. That's good. These guys really suck. The Ironmonger's not... Oh, no, no, no. The Unity of Austin is that's sucking against those guys. Come on, boys. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Kill them off. Kill every single last son of a gun off there. No, no, go there. Come on. Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh, Death Class 8, some of our team. That's not nice. Do some of that. Light, light LMGs. And eh, we can do that because we can. Very good. Are we even using those bouncers? Oh, we'll need them anyways for uh, mobile fortifications. That'd be good. You guys head on over here and have a good old time, I suppose. Ace pilot promoted. Economic resurgence is good, good, good. Yeah, at this point, I, I, this has been one of the probably easiest wars I've had so far against Lannis, even though we lost a division, you know, whatever. Oh, and they're still up there, too. God dang it. Well, that's fine. There's an easy way to do this, guys. Let's go there, there, and just... There you go. That's all I have to do. Nice. Oh, they're annoying. They are so annoying. Hope you guys can... Oh, Mysterious Stranger attacks. A wandering hooligan interfered in a battle between one of our warriors and a raider and shot a guy. Even the raiders were appalled and asked why he took their side, apparently. The fool assumed we were the villains because of the poor quality of our hospitality industry. Everyone's a critic. Oh, God, no, that's not good. He keeps deploying more soldiers. He's, he's deploying a lot of soldiers very quickly. Come on, guys, keep moving up there. You don't have time to dilly-dally. I'll go rooted because we can for now. Is there anywhere we can encircle these guys at all? Looking for love, I arrived at KXII Station without any issues. About halfway there, we were greeted by a group of two head guards accompanying us the rest of the way. I expected the usual Raider look, honestly, re leather, metal spikes, occasional skull or bone. What I saw was military gear over fine suits. It was different, to say the least. The meeting took place in one of the recording studios. I had seen this place before on TV. It's where he hosts his talk show with various guests. I asked if he was recording the negotiation for a show, too. He just laughed and answered that he just felt the most comfortable in this place, and that's why he chose it. The chance negotiations were done incredibly quick. We disagreed on some details, but it came to an agreement and spanned half an hour. It came down to our investment money, their technical expertise, and established media catalog. The rest of the evening that I thought I would spend arguing with a raider warlord putting on a civilized front was instead sp spent having a pleasant conversation over various topics, some meaningless, some in regards to both our situations. We drank a bit, laughed together. It was a nice distraction from everything that has been going on recently. A nice little evening. Two had media. Cool. More daily political power plus 0.2 and better division recovery rate. Ooh. I'm sorry, two beds, but it looks like you ain't here anymore. Just saying. You guys go down there, too. Cut them off. Just cut them completely off. Yeah, they're, they're playing as much as possible. 
Uh, I want to keep doing, going down this way eventually, but let's do this when we can use more war support. Going to the river. Even though most of our income stems from gambling, it's not a reliable long-term plan for growth. The other option we have is expanding our influence along the Red River, so we can use it for fishing and trading. To accomplish this, we need to deal with the potential hostile groups that have settled alongside it, and maybe we can settle some old grudges in one fell swoop. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on, infantry. You've got to be moving faster than this. You gotta go, 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 go. Special force expansion is nice. Bloody mess. That's not really worth it for now. Minus 30% defense is an incredibly big number, so. We don't have that. Oh, wow. We don't even have the XP for that. Wow. That sucks. Can you actually help him out here? That would be good to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go up that way. You guys can do this. Come on. Oh, god dang it. Are, you gonna, are they going to literally cut us off? I mean, these divisions, they're so stupid. These generals are so incredibly incompetent. Come on, guys. I don't understand how we can just deploy soldiers. As, well, I guess I can understand how we can deploy soldiers just as fast as he possibly wants, but... This is so stupid. This general is pathetic, though. Jesus Christ, Talako Sanuku, Sanuki. Just cut him off, son. Just cut him off. How are you not winning? There's only ten divisions there. <laughs> but seriously, like, come on. Give her the program, son. Force it. Do not let them live. The fall of the church, it's as good. Do not let them cut us off, you bunch of dinguses. If that's the case, I don't care how much it costs. We're training a bunch of guys here. We've got to get these guys out now, because our... Commanders are just giant idiots. Nice, let's do that one. Come on, get in there. Go, 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 go. You should have more than enough soldiers to do this. Come on, move, 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 move. I don't understand why the AI thinks it can just stop moving. Dumbs, dumb, dumb. I guess we could kill them or what? Yeah, are they doing last stand? No, they're not. That's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at these guys. Yeah. Do you need Vossi? Sure, I'll accept some help. No, either you die or they die. There's no in between. Yeah, they gotta be doing last stand or something here. I mean, this is ridiculous. How can we not win? I don't. No commander now. Or at least a cut off from the capital. That's good. For now, at least. Are you just. What are you doing? What are these guys doing? Just go in there and kill them, guys. Like, I don't want to be ragey at this, but Jesus Christ, this is stupid. Just kill them. You have air superiority. At least you should have air superiority. These balloons, sometimes, I don't understand what they do. I, I should probably look into what they actually do there. But, my goodness. Just just go. Just kill them. Uh, an old grudge. Scrappers Compacts, former core. Oh, Scrappers 5. Oh. Secret Handshake. Enter truth with the last lodge. Uh, we could do that. Let's go do the pops. A museum of soda. So many different brands of soda. Just so many. We didn't even know there was anything besides bottles and nuka cola. Apart from the fact that it'll certainly look nice once it's lit up again, it's a veritable treasure trove of bottle caps. And now we got to do this. If we can. Oh boy, I guess not. My goodness, this is one gigantic mess. Come on, Atsadi. Come on, come on. We don't have time to waste. Yeah, at least those guys showed up. That's nice of them. Guys, why did, why did you get circled? Why, why, why are you not moving? I gave you orders and you're not moving. What type of idiot are you? You give them orders and they don't even move. Oh, now these guys are completely cut off. Good. Now everyone else should be starving here, hopefully soon, because they literally have no supplies except for just the small victory points that they do have. Alright, you guys up north got encircled. I swear to God. Why do, why are all of our generals incompetent? I feel like I'm Hans Hutig in Africa now. Trying his best to do his job. Mad X is nice, though. Let's grab what? I think we're going to go with... Ballistics is tried and true. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got a bunch of fire, of course. Uh, disable, disable, that's fine. Military Academy, sure, why not? Mm, don't care about that. Military Society, don't care about that. Casino of Payouts. Uh, you can do that one. Ruthless Drills, that's alright for now. 
Seriously, I mean, he just... How does he keep popping up more and more divisions? Like, I understand that you need time to, like... Actually, like, train at least, like, up to 20% for... Divisions and such. I would keep going this way, why not? But it makes no sense. It literally makes no sense how I can just keep... Just chucking out divisions like crazy. We need a lot of these things, too. He should be giving up extremely soon. This is kind of stupid how far he has to take these guys out. I'll go to Lubbock, but actually dance around and do that. Where are you guys? Oh, you're probably going to get encircled. Oh, crap. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's... Ugh, kill them off. Do not let them move. Do not let them take that naval base so they can escape. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys got all encircled, you dummies. Good. Finally, thank God. All right. So now you got to do this and beat him up this way. I mean, how many of these guys do we have to kill? Seriously, like, this is a bit too much. A bit of an extreme, I would say. Mm, come on. Kill him off. He just found another 12 divisions or something like that. We cut off 59,000. You think? He keeps throwing out more divisions. How? How? 74 divisions. My goodness. Well, we took the pass, which is good and all, but... Now he's, he's dropping it again. Jesus Christ. I hate Lanius so much. Ah. <laughs> Optimization training, that's good. Just keep going with more. Can we actually make these guys any bigger? Hopefully we can. Oh, oh my God. We don't have enough army to be home. All right. Deploy these guys. I don't care how much it costs. Go, go, go. One, two, three. There you go, two. Guys, are you just literally just standing there? Jesus Christ! I tell them, you see you see what I'm doing, right? And I, I, I hate being ragey, but you see that I literally give them. <sighs> are they? Just go die them. Go die you stupid divisions. It appears that someone has revived a pre-war singer who was cryogenically frozen. After 200 years of ice, she's taken to the New World with surprising gusto, saying she will dance just the night away. Good news for us, though. Although her love song said after nuclear war is a little on the nose. I'll always remember us this way. Nice. Radio Gaga. Ah. You know, you tell them to go, and they just don't go. I don't understand why. <laughs> go crazy with stuff. Who, who doesn't have, like, go crazy here? Everyone's going crazy for assaulting. It, it doesn't make any sense. It just... The AI, I swear to God, needs some improvements. Definitely, 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 definitely. Definitely need some improvements. Uh, I like you guys here. Man, I swear to God, the AI does cheat. They have to cheat to be able to do this. Just keeps pooping out more divisions, huh? Yep, they just keep pooping out more and more and more. But let's get the pops done. Cooling jackets, thank you. Mm, good. And let's do Rita's Cafe. Apparently way more common on the West Coast than before the war. Rita's Cafe was a popular chain of restaurants that had a distinct futuristic look. Well, the future turned out to be a bit different than people imagined. Anyway, as far as we can tell, this is the only one of its kind in this region. It would be a great boon to the area if we would bring it back to life. Nice. And your purification station. Good. Not bad. Oh, we're doing that stuff too good. Can we just kill them off? Like... How, 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 how difficult is this? It shouldn't be difficult at all, honestly. Uh, we'll put you actually at, like, somewhere like here. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's a bit too stupid in the way. How would he take out everything there? Like, I, I mm, no. Yeah, the Legion, at least Lannis' Legion, definitely could use maybe some slight improvement, maybe? And taking him out just because, like you saw, ridiculous. They just kept literally just throwing out more and more divisions. That's so annoying. I get that he's supposed to be tough. I really do get that, but... Still. You shouldn't be able to pop out 10 divisions at, almost at any point you really want to without training any of them. But then again, it is AI, and the AI has been known to cheat, at least with naval invasions, at the very minimum. But I'm not giving him his freedom, except... Except someone did say I should give, uh... Diana her freedom, so we'll see. Let me see. Let's get this. Nice. Uh, let's see, Diana. Let's see. Because we did see a vision of her, so. Mm, 
twin mothers? Twin mothers. Lubbock, Black Sun. Summer's Federation. I don't see them. Last Patrol, Executives, Two Pets, Texan Brotherhood, Sun Dogs, Scrappers Compact, Scorpion's Bite, Maxim, Lubbock, Lone Star, Lance's Cohort, Hang Dogs. Where are they? Wait, hold on. Where are they? Warden has a. Um, do I need to take out Circle Junction? Her cores must have been removed or something. Contact Lost Watt Sox. Let's, let's get those contacts back. That'd be kind of nice. Final expedition. Thank goodness. We have two roadside attractions, and I would like to do as much of the focus tree as possible before we end the episode, of course. So, and this probably be the last episode of the campaign, as you can tell from the title. Just because there's not much else here. And of course, I love to do Rita's Cafe, but. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Stand Hope Shadow Mountain. We actually got him. Look at that. Nice. Mm. Most damage garrisons actually probably be pretty good to do. Let's do that one. And, well, I guess it's time for Battlefield Hierarchy, but another night to remember. Not every night that is worth remembering has to be as unpleasant as an infamous one. This one was the very opposite of that. Cool, we get more stability. Cool, we'll just let time go on. I mean, at this point for research, it doesn't really matter too much. Since we're just going to try to improve ourselves more, 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 more. Make sure we're all the same outriders. There we go. Good. We don't need that one. We don't need this one. Hopefully we make these guys even bigger. If we have enough army XP, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Firebase teams, yeah. Look at, oh my goodness, this looks too good to pass up. Good, good, good. Uh, demo teams, fire teams, that actually would not be bad. It kind of hurts their armor, though. But not too much. Dogs? Get a little more recon with dogs. Kind of like their extra recon, though. Eh, get some doggies. Dogs can run wild with our outriders. Cool. And research better doggies, and we can build more stuff up because we can. We'll go take some time to do, which is totally fine with us. Jackpot! Oh boy, time to fasten our belts. Unfortunately, but we still get twenty thousand caps. Look at that! I love it. So overall, this the Native American factions, especially with the Chickasaw, Muskegee uh, coalition, interesting. I do enjoy that they have reoccurring little tidbits of you know things that happen. Um, casinos and the roadside attractions, I think, are a very, 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 very nice addition to that. So, looking for revenge. Oh, looking for closure. I think it's time to put the elements or events of that night behind me. They will not be forgotten, but dwelling on them won't help me or my people. There are bigger things to consider. I must plan for the future for all of us. Cool. We get a bonus to land auction, which I'm not sure if we really need, but hey, we'll take it. Mechanized sharing will be nice. Do we not have enough guns? No, we don't. But hey, what else is new, you know? There you go. We need more, uh, just things in general. Most definitely. Wow, look at that manpower. Not bad. As we continue to make our infrastructure. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I, w I don't mind releasing Diana, but I just, I don't think she... Her cores just don't exist after she gets taken out, so... Very odd. Very, very odd. There you go. Cool. Uh, are there any other holes that we're missing here? No, 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 no. Okay. Let everyone train as well. Good, good, good. And we're done with the land auction. Cool. Get some more defense. That'd be very nice. And what areas can we core? Because we might as well start coring some territories. Investments falling through. Cutter losses. That's fine. We can do that one. How much money do we have? Ah, 3,000. That's more than enough. Look at all those compliance we got. A lot of blue, I love it. So after looking for closure, we'll probably do previous commitments. We require a lot of caps. Claims, well, this would be kind of a waste. But Mr. T Entertainment has made some previous deals with the Texan Brotherhood, which made the two pads fall under their control. Situations change, and I think it's time to make it clear for everyone that we stand together. It might cost the Coalition a fair bit to reenact on his contract with them, so be it. It costs a little bit of money, but uh, this might be able to bypass things, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? I guess we'll see. We still get... 1.72 uh, political power every day. If you'd like to read about secret sauce, uh, please go right ahead. This happens usually every campaign. So you get 5% more country base node income, which is not too bad. We can always use a little bit, spot more money. So, previous commitments. Awesome. 
And since we're here, local leaders, I'm not going to change that one. Ah, uh, military academy trading. Just by World Ghost Towns, that would be probably be okay. That's cost a lot of political power. we got all the guys up here. Who else do we have? Chief Hudson Carlson, more political power. Might as well. And we can only get how much? Two a day. Two a day, not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. Let's grab some of this. And how many more days do we have left for Cypher War Band? Oh, uh, less than... No, around three-ish weeks -ish. That's not bad. Send a man of prospectors. And now we get about 730 people a month. That ain't bad. Elite Breakthrough Tactics. Let's grab some of uh, this one. Well, technically, last special forces, that does include horses, so. Popular new cocktail. Cool. How many guns are we missing? Oh, it's just infantry armor, actually. Not guns. Which actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. Loan? Here's a gift. Luxury into military academy. Yeah, sure, might as well. Cool. Capitol Hill has fallen. Cool. And I'll probably do the last lodge as well, because we can. Only 90 days, that ain't too bad. Should do relatively okay. And then uh, we're doing our focus pretty darn nicely. Uh, guys, are you kind of hanging out? There you go. Come on, let's go. Let's go like everybody else. Not too bad, though. I think we've done pretty darn well. Mechanized training. Let's grab some basic infantry equipment. And losses. 11 versus 2,000. Well, no, make that 5,000. Make that 7, 8, 8,000. Can we get to 9,000, maybe? No? Okay, you guys just stop moving. That's so stupid. Just go. Go, horse boys, go. Previous commitments. Nice. And maybe we should do part of history. History should never be forgotten, regardless if it's a history of a place, person, or thing. Many Choctaw dedicated their life to act of remembering. The Shoba was at the forefront of the movement. For decades, he has become part of history of the Choctaw itself. And it'll be part of the history of this new nation. Cool. Come on, boys and girls. Let's go take plain view. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Well, here we are, and we're about almost done with the secret handshake. The last lodge has been occupying the south side of the Red River for a long time, so far. They haven't shown any signs of aggression and seem content with protecting the settlements under their control. As far as our records show, there was never any open conflict between our nations. Maybe we should turn this unofficial truce into an official one. This will also open up both nations for more trade, which is important because... We need to do America's Scrapyard, an old grudge. Ooh... Uh, dis territory dispute for the scrappers, compacts, former core territories. Okay, cool. So be aware that of that before you puppet a nation. Uh, the focus is this following this war goal, gated behind letting the criminals take over or not. So be aware. Oh, the choir sings. All right, well, we'll see what happens. We're just doing no grudge. Almost 100 years ago, the scrappers compact took some land from us, and then when we were struggling with the aftermath of a series of tornadoes sweeping throughout our nation. They have defended it fiercely ever since then. We want that land back, but we don't need to be unreasonably cruel about it. We can give it, give them a choice. Well, not really, because they're dead. So much scrap. After beating the war warriors of the compact and scattering them to the wind, we now have access to the largest pile of scrap metal in the area. This will take a concentrated effort to claim and, and process, and we have to deal with the occasional remnants of scrap or resistance cells and springing out of this ground. Uh, that's not good for more damage to garrisons, but whatever. And stopping the crusade. Uh, the Masons turned out to be harmless, and the compact was never a big threat. The Sap War Band, on the other hand, is a threat to everyone they consider to have fallen to the evils of technology. We're not sure who they think that includes, but we are better. We better strike first before they consider us being part of that group. Red River Economic Zone, CMC Red River Economic Zone Desk, reduces the cor the coring cost of states along the Red River by thirty percent. Not bad. Not bad. Of course, going to do that. And I haven't spent anything yet, but we are going to go to war with Azurecito Mexicano. Why? Because we can. And I demanded the former territory of the Texan Brotherhood, and they don't want to give it to us. And they're also fighting their brothers, or Santa Ana's fighting his brothers, so we might as well just go to war with them, right? Someone can level up to level 7, so I don't want to see that. Cool. And in addition, um, yeah, actually, build up a lot of things if you want to. It really doesn't matter too much to me at this point. Actually, build up a few more military factories first, though. There you go, that's nice. Cool. And make sure we got enough air bases around here. That'd be good. Three. Two, because he doesn't have that much manpower, but he's using he's got a lot of divisions, but let's go ahead and have a good old time, shall we? We should do pretty darn well around here. And again, we don't have a lot of planes, but that's alright. 
Nice, so far. Oh, sure, yeah. So we're in the war. We lost about 300 guys. We got plenty of manpower. They've lost about 8,000. We've killed about 6,000 of them. Not bad, not bad. We're not going to win every battle, but hey, hopefully we win enough. And that's what matters, right? As long as you win enough battles, you don't have to win all of them. Just enough of them. Cool. Keep doing it, guys. You're doing a great job. We've already circled and destroyed some divisions. 10,000 lost. Routed guests. If you like to read about that once again, please go right ahead. We've killed 1,800 enemies off already. Maybe Happy Arrow wasn't such a great idea. That's alright, because right now we've got some manual prospectors. We've got three open roadside attractions. Not bad. Heir to two empires. Look at that. I had to read most of the absent from the public eye for a few months at this point. Lushan Yaharjo has appeared on the stage again, quite literally in the case, as Mr. Entertainment has seen it fit to produce a special broadcast this night. The reason for this was clear. As only a few minutes into the show, after a short musical number by one of Mr. Entertainment's live bands, both of them walked in front of the camera, presenting their newborn child to a cheering audience. Wow. The proud parents briefly talked about future plans concerning both nations before they retreated backstage again, wishing viewers and home audiences alike a pleasant evening and giving the stage to an ensemble of various live acts. I guess congratulations are in order. Wow. That was fast. <laughs> that was really fast. Mm, anything here? Oh, yeah, more grand solic solicitations? Why not? Uh, okay. 420 every month. Long-term operations. Not bad. Red River Economic Zone we just read. So, loss and experience has completed America's biggest scrapyards, which we can't do. Increase the number of fully running casinos by one. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. As well as leave nothing left standing. Beating back the choir, of course. We almost got used to the song. Feels weird without it. If you'd like to read about the last patrol, last of the last patrol, the scrapper's hive, and the choir sings, please go right ahead. But, this part of the tree's done. Cool. I'd like to do the stairs Sequoia eventually, but we gotta be a piece, so... Uh, 40 miles of bad road. What, cab driver wants more down the streets? We'll do that one. Here's a thought. Public transport. Taxi cabs and buses. Our patrons have to get from their hotels to the casino somehow. And nobody really likes arriving tired because they all had to walk a long distance. Yeah, no one likes doing that. That's not very fun. How many men can we kill? 3,000 so far. Not bad. But we're only in third place. Ah, La Gente del Sol is killing La Gente del Sol. I love it. Good job, guys. Keep doing it. We appreciate your war efforts against yourselves. Ah, the Alamo. Cool. Ah, oh, sure, that's fine. Now we don't need that, so. Well, that's okay. He wants to get Louisiana, right? Moss Bluff. I want to get through all the focuses first, and then try to core stuff. Let's try that one. Try it like that. And they died. Cool. Very nice. So you guys are all going to be par parading down here, having a good old time. You guys, there's not that much room for us to move, so we're going to do that as well, like that. You guys have done a tremendous job as well. We might go to War of Los as well, just because we can. And I want to finish out the focus tree as well, so we'll see what happens. Dog City, thank you very much. What level is Dog City at already? Now seven, not bad, not bad. Cool. Ebo Funk Casino. The Ebo Funk Casino likes to put on a good show. Everything they do is themed after traditional myth and culture of our people. People dressing in traditional garb and guests can take part in ceremonies, pacifying the spirits, and bringing good fortune when gambling. The spirits just love small monetary donations. Investing in the Ebo Funga will allow us to install an impressive light show displaying the spirits and allowing them overhead and speakers to announce new shows and a happy hour at the bar. Aw, yeah. And we're doing some naval stuff just because we can, so... Soon enough, we won't have enough room to move down here. Going to be not a good thing for us, I'd say. Well, as long as Edgercito Mexicano's not having a good time, that's what matters, right? But for you guys, this will be at war with these guys pretty darn soon. You guys can lead the charge against De Lafayette, so. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I think I've driven past there once when I was a kid, so I, I don't remember much about it. A gift? You can have a gift. There you go. Use this one's good. Package. Invest as soon as in Dog City, why not? Anything else? Not really. Ooh, advanced ballistics would be pretty good. We don't have enough army XP, I should say. We'll get there. We'll get there. Keep building more military factories. And actually, how are our planes? There you go. You can all go there, and then I'll duplicate you again. And you go right there. 1,500. And then you guys. Barrage balloons. we got to get rid of that crap. Uh, cut you down in half. And we'll do it like this. Ooh, no. Let time go on. Good. Nice. Good. Make sure and that these two go right there. Plenty, plenty, plenty of goods. Oh boy, that's not good. Um, you guys come on back then. 
Santa Ana can still navally invade. Field surgery doctor, not bad. Yeah, don't get encircled, guys. That'd be really, 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 really bad. Oh, you got close. Willow's operative captured. All right, all right. Not bad. Sucks that uh, the Unity of Austin got in here. I mean, Serious Stranger Attacks, but that's not good. Ah, uh, they're doing okay. Oh, no, never mind. They're just doing pretty poorly then. If these guys are already pushed this far into them, that's not bad. Cool. How much longer must we wait for these guys? Oh, not much longer. Oh, go ahead, guys. There you go. People are just killing each other all the time. We love it. You guys should do okay without us. Casino. How about we grab the Stingwing Clan Resort and Casino? While still having all the usual games, the Stingwing focuses more on leisure and entertainment. Bands, magicians, and various other stage acts perform nightly, luring locals and tourists alike into spending big money on drinks and food. Investing in the Stingwing will allow us to open an attached hotel, meaning guests will stay longer and spend more money at the bar. Plus, additional income from rent and room service? Sign us up. Or really sign them up. Nah, it's over on their pesky little divisions. Are these guys killing each other now, too? I wasn't... Oh, there goes... Yeah, there goes the Legion. Everyone's killing themselves. Oh, it's Moctezuma, actually. That's good. That's fine. That's good. Ace pilot promoted. Very, very nice. Uh, would you guys like to just walk into Lafayette? Lafayette. Lafayette. Yeti, 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 yeti. Very, very good. They've only killed off 7,000 of them, so... Not nearly enough. And Moss is bluff. God, it's so hot down here in the part of the country. Oh my goodness. I can't imagine in Fallout that'd be, you know, any cooler. Oof. Nice job, guys. Nice job, Reno. Well, with a few divisions down here, it shouldn't be too bad. As long as they don't navally invade us. Huh. <laughs> oh boy. Anything else here? Uh, Spy in your kit, because you can, I guess. Marksmanship Doctrine, and then we'll be done with this stuff. Not quite yet. Is this... Well, that doesn't really help us. I don't think this gives us anything for... Yeah, that doesn't really help us, but alright, we'll do it anyways, because we can. Ah, horses. Beautiful, beautiful, thick. Thick, handsome horses. And they do move slow down here. Holy cow. Twice and two lifetimes. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Hey, got more horses. Love it. Should be done with this one soon. And then after that, Santa Ana might die before we're actually done. So we'll probably just stay of Sequoia then. Turns out, when we settled this area, more, we more or less claimed all the territories of the state of Sequoia. A United Native American government that was proposed almost 300 years ago, but never came to fruition. Better late than never, right? Wasn't there, like, some guy who proposed that, I think? I'm pretty sure there's some guy who proposed it. I thought it was one of the other mods I played before that that guy proposed something like that. Uh, nice. You know, with the force attack, how badly can we hurt him? Probably really badly to them and us. Now, what you want to do here? You know, they have these things called motorcycles. We prefer horses. Just saying. And they have been cut off. Good. Out of the state of Sequoia. How about we do some hunt down weapon stashes? A time shortly before the civil before the war was not a quiet one. A record show there was a lot of civil unrest and seas that we claim as ours. Riots, insurgencies. These things are long in the past now, though. But what that means for us is now that if we find out the old bases and hideouts of those insurgents, there are bound to be stockpiles of weapons and supplies that should still be usable. Hopefully. You never know, though. You never know. About 80 days left. Not too bad. Not too bad. McAllen would be great to grab. Can we force the attack? More damage. More damage. They've got to be giving up soon, right? 
Well, we've only killed off 8,000 of them. We did about 23%, so about a quarter. Nice. Keep going, boys and girls. You're doing a fantastic job. Chicago, we already read this one earlier. If you like to read about this, it goes right ahead. We get 55,000 caps and we get a 30% research bonus for infantry weapons. Not too shabby. 132, that might be a bit too much for that little bit. That's not too bad. Ah, there we go. So, hmm, what do we want? Well, let's divide up the territory first. Uh, Moctezuma, you can have a little bit. There you go. Um, don't think it deserves all this, but you know what? Due to the sake of border gore, we'll do something like this. Or maybe I'll just do it off screen. And my friends, welcome to the state of Sequoia. Now, did our flag change? Did that get a little bigger than normal? I can't remember. But regardless, we did that. And we have finished mostly pretty much everything on the right side. So we just have a few things left here to do. So, traditional values. While many of our customs and traditions were seen as antiquated and outdated before the war, a lot of them became relevant again when the world descended into a simpler state. There are many people who still follow these traditions that would be a boon to our nation should we hire them. Very nice. Let's go and take out some Houston Rockerinos and see what happens. I don't think we got any more... Yeah, we got no more cores, which kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I don't really care how much it costs. Just core stuff. Just core stuff. Nice. Oh, that's a pretty good core as well. Oh, 22,000. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. We're starting to run out of manpower, of course. but Or political power, I should really say. But, hey, look at that. Almost 80,000 manpower. Not enough. Never enough. What else do we have here? Pioneer kits? Nah, that'd be a waste. Okay, Houston Rockets are gone. We're, all, we're already just fine on them uh, Bayou Motors, so... We should do relatively okay. Actually, we'll just do okay, period. Okay, we can go to war anyways. Uh, when you're ready to do that, go right ahead. Maybe we should do Unity of Austin? Why not? Because we can, right? And what do we have over here? Available war goal? Yep, Bayou Motors. Just go and go in. Not really too worried about it. These guys, though, might be Keats might be uh, a thousand manpower. They do have super mutants, though, so we might want to keep an eye out for these guys. They have a lot of plans. We got 155 fighters, so not too bad. Go straight on in if you guys can. Scrap shackarinos, not bad. Armor hardening. Let's grab some tribal huts, and we'll grab some raycon kits because we can. And there you go. Should be able to win. Before we win, though, let's make sure we got enough soldiers for this front. The horses. Ooh, what are we going to do with the horses? I'm just trying to funnel them all through here and just let them run amok. You guys will probably come on through maybe over here. Because I made sure that all these divisions have planes, so that's a pretty good to have. And six more guys go right there. There you go. Nice. Should do relatively okay with that, and you guys stay right there. Cool. Good. What do we got? Oh, Houston's disabled. Well, that's not good. And we're doing uh, the request to build more military factories right now, so I figured, eh, screw it, why not? You guys not too bad. I need some guys over here, though, so we should have enough for this. Should. All right, anywhere else along the line that we miss any holes? We might have missed some holes, though, but eh, that's all right. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and do that. Train if you need to. Shouldn't need that much training. Our field marshal's looking pretty good. Jump rounds, beloved leader. Meh, meh. Cutting leader. Fortunate leader. Yeah, we like fortunate leader. We like leaders who are fortunate. Uh, let's go with land attack because we like attacking a lot. Plane-wise, not too bad. Even though you can do some... Oh, some planes right there. Let's see. Fighters, barrage balloons, monoplane attackers. We got plenty of monoplane attackers. Oh, Legion's still killing itself, which makes sense. Duplicate them. There you go. There are more guys on there. And then, maybe we'll do... Uh, wait, can we not do this one? We need more than seven clan support. Oh! I guess we'll do this one. There are plenty of pre-war workshops and factories scattered around the major and urban centers we control. Getting in some of them into, into working condition will improve our industrial capacity, but while also we may learn one thing or another about building new ones. Very cool. Ooh, I wonder if we'll actually be able to do that or not. Air base raids, though? Very good. Fun local arms factories. Cool. The clans tend to have their own weapons, smiths, and forges. They usually produce high-quality goods, but they don't have the output to supply them larger forces with enough equipment. Finding them to provide them with the necessary manpower and tools they need to ramp up production will help them prosper and give us another source of weaponry. That's pretty nice. All right, let's see what we can do about these guys. Good evening. On to the next day. Nice. 
More money, more better. Oh, they don't have a lot of manpower, do they? That's alright. We should do relatively okay here, though. I keep saying relatively. No, we will do okay. We will just kill them all off. Tribal Huts, they've lost 247, which is not bad, considering they're super mutants, so... 45 divisions. Work camps? We love camps. Oh, wow. Well. San... Oh, I've been to San Marcos. That's where San Marcos is, yeah. Oh, I, I never realized it was so close to Austin. Huh. I've been to San Marcos before. It's cool. And this is the piece deal I gave, you know, that we did earlier, so... It is what it is. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. That's actually a ridiculously easier. Wow. Alright, well, since we we got a few more uh, focuses to go through, we might as well do this as well, I suppose. There you go. Alright, and it looks like we could probably course something else to, or too. Anything in this direction? 11,000 might not be bad. 14,000, but I want to get down here. KXII station, or 11, probably 2. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. So we got that one. But we need to have more than 7 clan support. As well as, for this one, well, we need a new expansion. So we might actually not be able to get that. But we open the coal pits. Or coal mines. While the petroleum and gas depot deposits have been drained long before the Great War, a lot of the regional coal mines are still workable. Since they tend to be on the outskirts of urbanized areas, they often fall onto the territory claimed by one of our neighbors or clans. Reopening them will give us a good supply of fuel and other components and bring good work to the area. Sounds good to us. Sounds quite good. Let's get fibers. I know we need it for advanced weaponry, but whatever. It'd be fine. Actually, how many support how much support do we have? We might not be able to do it, actually. More daily army XP is pretty good. Lone tree. Oh, wow, look at that. Two bed media plus point two every day. Love it. Killing each other. Air to empires. Oh, that's weekly. Oh, I thought it was just one percent stability. No, it's weekly stability. Oh, wow, that's pretty nice. Old world targeting system support for people. Seven clan support. Five city dweller to support. So it sounds like we might have been screwed out of what we really want to do. Ooh. Is there any other way we can get any more support for this? Um, building slots. Defender river boats. We might be screwed out of it. Wow, that sucks. Well, I guess we jammed our way through here. So I, we can't. There's not even a description here. We need eight support, and for this one, this one has a focus though or description. One of the benefits of hiring the best and brightest, or sometimes most ruthless, is that they sometimes can procure things that you really don't expect. In this case, pre-war weaponry, fairly advanced one at that too. Something we are rather unlikely to be able to produce ourselves. Well, might as well finish off reading a lot of other focuses, right? Clear the river banks of local fauna. There are many rivers crossing our nation. They play a significant part in our nation's economy and infrastructure. But large swaths of them are still plagued by mylurk and other critters. We need to get rid of them to make work and travel safe for everybody. Which makes sense. It's And I believe we can go back and start justifying on these guys, right? Yeah, that's nice. I don't think these guys will be able to do too much against us, so... I could be wrong. These super got to go. Oh, they are spreading out through there. Eh, 1,000 casualties, 1,400, 2,000, loss is gone. Thank you. Come again. Nice. Well, that's really disappointing that we can't finish all that other stuff, but hey, we still got some focuses to read. Go through a few more of them. Have a good time with them. And we'll call it a campaign, shall we? Because there's really not much else to do here, then. Uh, Reopen the coal mines. Well, let's do fun local arms factories. Why not? Well, if we move fast enough, that won't won't matter too much. This one's more important. Basic smelteries. I'll grab some advanced smelteries, shall we? Uh, I keep forgetting about basic well pumps. Cool. Let's do some of that too, and then we'll do some of this. Advanced well pumps, not bad. Now, state Sequoia looking a little icky. Not sure how I like the shape too much. And yeah, I could get the rest of Texas, but whatever. It's all right. Ooh, oh yeah, we had some economic advisors. More soft attack. Oh, look at the out of supply, lack of resources penalty. Not too bad, but not really super important, I guess, at this point. Let's take fibers, special forces kits, because we can. Doesn't really matter too much. Hmm, how to hunt. Myra looks we're good. Invest. New st stimulus. Invest in the military academy. What else do we have down here? Storyteller, look at that. Nashoba Solomon. Osiloa Noah. Oh, experience soldiers' losses goes down. Yeah, uh, that moves in. Oh, he didn't move in. That sucks. Safe munitions stowage. Just grab some of this because we can. 
Rivers of commerce. Fishing and trading along the river was always key to our survival. With the waterways being a lot safer now, we can invest into them more to get the most use out of them. Cool. Defender river banks. Rivers have to be, have one big disadvantage. We can't really stop other people from using them too. So, to prevent someone from just sailing up to a riverside settlement and ste stealing our stuff and bringing it down, we need to build some defenses out there. Expand a river fleet. FP, river fleet desk. Help needed. While we did manage to clear out the rivers, it was neither quick nor easy. We lost a good amount of men that didn't stay far enough away from what lurked below the surface. Clearly, we were less prepared than we thought. We should look for help. And train hunters. The way that requires more work is training people specifically for tracking and hunting down all of them critters. They may not be ready immediately, but it'll pay off in the long run. Alright, not bad. And let's go ahead. So we did all that. So we can't get down this way. Wow, that sucks. I should have realized that earlier, but hey, I guess I wasn't really paying attention. But it's not like we really need it. It would have been cool, though. But let's do clear the riverbank so the local fauna. And we've got one more we can read here, I believe. And, say, and buy it. Follow well, mercenaries. The quick way of doing things is spending a good amount of money on getting someone else to do the job for us from now on. There are enough hardy, well cut folks coming through the area looking for work. Some of them are probably willing to uh, patrol the rivers. And hopefully we can just kill off one more nation before we call it a campaign. Shall we? Jackpot. And Dock City, not bad, not bad. Anyone else? Storyteller? Hmm. Wow, they died so fast. Where? Oh, wait. Do we spend... Huh. Very odd, okay. Well. Alright, I guess that's going to be it. We read everything. We did everything that we possibly could. Learned some things. Didn't learn some things. Hope we learned more than enough than we, that we didn't learn. But I guess that's a campaign. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.